All right, guys, we are live here for 2017 Bowman. Some random teams. There's your boxes. We got uh, interesting little format here. Sold one box out of the case. I have no idea what Matthew pulled. Um, so we're doing. We did random teams and uh, giving away seventh box to anyone everyone that doesn't get a hit has a shot at you guys can see those packs right Ha! Is that who you got, Mike? You got the Red Sox? Let me see. You do. Boom. Where's Wawa Paul? He's not fired up anymore. Calm down. Dude, Polanco looks huge. Is it me or does he look like gigantic? Smoking as of five minutes ago. <laughs> Polanco looks like he used some of that uh, some of that good Latino juice. They come in as skinny as a rail, and the next thing you know, they look like Manny Ramirez. Congratulations, man. I'm happy for you. I am very happy for you. And Peter, if you're watching, I don't ship the paper cards. Uh oh, starting off with the gold. Oh, oh Mikey! Yo, Mikey! A freaking boom for Mike Singer, a gold Benintendi auto. 35 out of 50. Yo, Thumbs wants to know what's the tip. Boom. How's that to show that the case wasn't dead? Working on taking the ball to the right side. This is the slowest start so far of McCutcheon's career. But GM Neil Huntington told me yesterday, Kenny, there's still a... Peter, it's real easy to tell where the uh, the 499s are in the pack. Like right here. This is a number to 499, guaranteed. Max Scherzer, number to 499. Max Scherzer, number to 499. Ha! Kyle Freeland. You throw that pitch right there a lot. <laughs> John Patterson, freaking crumb. Been swinging at that pitch too much, which then gets you to walk off the plate inside. And as a hitter, as soon as you get uncomfortable and aware of the ball in, instead of letting it go like he did right there, that expands. That expands everything. It just makes you a bad hitter away. One thing they've been working on him with. You see his back elbow. We are on a freaking major heater. Last uh, last 24 hours. Major heater. Like major heater. 
Cuts over. Do you, Adam? I'll trade you something for it, man. I just need the codes. I got to get them entered. <laughs> Nikki! Yo! Hollywood is bringing it, boy! You're a good guy, Bait. I don't care what Pete Baylor says about you. Purple paper, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. Number the 250. It's good to see for Andrew. He's one of the best people in all of baseball that you'll ever meet. One of the happiest guys. Great smile. Off the field, on the field, whatever, whatever it is. Andrew McCutcheon's been a professional through this whole thing. I know there's been some, some ups and downs, but... Shut up, Abate. He's one of those guys you want to see succeed. You're joking. 2 0 fastball. You can't get a better center cut pitch than that. Head down. He was on time. Foot down. Didn't crank it as much as Clint Hurdle said. Stayed right through the ball. And his power is the center and the right center. So this is a good sign for the Pittsburgh Pirates that he hit the ball up into the bullpen, up into the shark tank, as they used to call it here. That's awesome. Two games of the Atlanta series Wednesday and Thursday. I'd say the case has started out uh, strong to quite strong. And then last night, his first career start, up through the fourth spot in the batting order. Three very impressive games ahead of Andrew McCutcheon on the Pirates all time home run list. Well, that won't get Andrew McCutcheon going for a Garrett Whitley Refractor, Garrett Whitley Refractor, number to 499. And it's a step in the right direction to see him get to a fastball of that velocity and in that count. With that home run, McCutcheon ties the great Bill Mazeroski, great place on the Pirates all-time. Singer, is the Pirates minor league uh, one of their affiliates in Wisconsin? CJ Hinojosa, refractor auto for the Giants. CJ Hinojosa for the Giants. Who the hell is the Giants? Lee Forsman. Congrats, Lee. Ah, very cool. Why'd you move? Why the heck would you move from Florida to Wisconsin? What would you like to, I mean, if you want a Kenny Albert way somewhere? That's a good question. The bridge is kind of unique. Mercer crowds out. The Reyes to end the inning for Mark the Pirates. Ah. Uh. And tie the game as Andrew McCutcheon took that really deep. His seventh of the season. 2-2. What's up, Travis?
Yeah, so probably not a... Sad to say in 2017. Probably a tough place for you guys. Oh, I'm good, Travis. I'm good, man. God, dude, that's freaking awesome. Thanks, E. You don't have to do that, man. You know she's just joking. Andrew Sopko, Refractor Auto for the Dodgers. Andrew Sopko for Greg, number to 499. I'll get some number here in a second, G. And we have not hit. We hit one good vet auto in 30-something cases, man. Crazy. 280. Uh, not really, Dan. Combo stinks. The combos are bad. But, you know, you could hit any of these low number autos are chased, so you get lucky and you pop one of them. It's worth something. Andrew Stevenson for the Nats. Andrew Stevenson for the Nats. Going to, I think it's Lee. Yep, Lee. Wow, you must be drunk. You actually have a positive attitude. Call strike three. Second strikeout for Derek Colts. We mentioned he was the first overall pick in 2011. Ten years before that, he attended game six and seven. Oscar De La Cruz, number to 499. Oscar De La Cruz, number to 499. That's Garrett on the right. Cubbies. Just behind him. He was holding up the side. That's better, Dan. Today, tomorrow, forever, at the age of 11. Well, I'm sorry that they lost the 2001 World Series on Luis Gonzalez is just an absolute missile of a hit that barely got to the outfield. Grass, Gavin Ciccini, number to 499. Tyler Anderson, blue, number to 150. 24 out of 150. And Brian Cashman would say, hey, look, guys, we got this guy with this great arm that was the number one overall pick. And in 2001, he was there supporting you guys. So let's uh, let's pony up a couple dollars for him here. And then, as we mentioned, in 2008, the Yankees drafted him in the first round, 28th. What's up, Brian? High school, ha! You like that? Not signed. Attended UCLA, where he had a terrific collegiate career, and then was drafted by the Pirates three years later. As Duda flies out to Frazier in shallow left, you mentioned. Mickey Mantle crying following the Mazeroski home run. Do you think an 11 year old Ron Darling Cole had some tears after that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Back I, World Series I, I, especially the way it went down. Game seven, they had a lead. You hand the ball to Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer of all time. And to see him give it up in that situation, which he has never d had never done, um, I guarantee you, there, if you ask him, there were some. There were, if he didn't show it, there were, there were some, some, some drops at least forming in his eyes when, when his dad drove him home after that game. The broken bat blew off for 
Rivera by Gonzalez, which was predicted by Tim McCarver yes. in the Fox booth along with Joe Buck. And to this day, I still ask, and one day if I ask CJ Torrey, I'm going to ask him why they weren't a double play depth. Andrew Suarez, refractor number to 499. Andrew Suarez, refractor number to 499. A nine pitch third as he retires the match in order. Oh my god, that Fox music. Doesn't it make you think NFL? When you hear that, don't you just think NFL? Which I'm totally not ready for yet. I did tequila. Let us breathe, man. Let us just enjoy baseball. Justice Sheffield, purple. Number to 250. Adonis Medina. Adonis Medina. Purple joint. For the Sillies. Nigel, congratulations, brother. Welcome to the fam, cuz. Hollywood's on fire, buddy. I'm on a 24-hour heater like none other right now. This is the friggin' heater of all heaters. The heater of all heaters. Benintendi Gold Auto. Senzel Auto. Insane. Did that tech mini fill? What's up, Iceman? back. Yo, Mikey! Sick! Groom, that groom's not numbered. I don't want to say what this one looks like it's number two, because I want to check first. Ah, it's 50. 35 out of 50. Nice hit, Mikey. What's up, Iceman? 
I said hi earlier. I don't know if you can hear me. Maybe you're in ad land. That's what I thought, Mike. Yeah. That's what I thought, buddy. I thought that's exactly what I thought. I'm like, nah, I don't want to jinx it. My Ada. Number to 250, my Ada. I'm good, Ice Man. How about you? Chang, Refractor. Number to 499. Case has been loaded so far, Iceman. Do you like baseball or are you a hockey guy? Or is Iceman just a nickname? What's up, Shadow? You're hilarious, Paulie. You're not wah wah tonight. You're wah wah. The guy gets him for free and he's still wang. Ha, anything that sells. Yeah, I know that feeling. Are you on Facebook, Iceman? That's where we sell all of our breaks right now. I think our website's launching in June. The rest of the Pirates. fly to left back of the first inning. And he'll still cry, Mike. Next score to run in each of the first two innings. Pirates with two at the bottom of the second on the McCutcheon. I used to have a friend. From a past life. We used to call him Joey Toenails. And, uh, Yudi Garcia. Anytime somebody would, like, be complaining and crying when we're sweating out a game, he would use the phrase that he cried, cried it in. That's what Wow Wow is doing right now. He's crying it in. Yeah, that's where we sell all of our breaks, man. For now. Especially from Wheeler, got those 95. He's not going to trick him. We got a nice lineup tonight. Ah, I thought that was signed. So when Wheeler gets ahead in the count, you can see right there a defensive swing by Bell. Anytime a guy has 96, 97 in his back pocket, it changes your whole approach as a hitter. But with McCutcheon and Harrison, they, they're ahead. They're in the catbird seat. They know. Okay. Hey, Brian Mundell, purple, number to 250 for the Rockies. Brian Mundell. Purple. At worst, one and one or two and one. For the Rockies. Jacob Hayward, Giants Auto. Jacob Hayward, Giants Auto for Lee. Congrats, Lee. I told him to pull you a blue. That would have been nuts if that was another Ben intended. Kirilov, number the 499, Kirilov. Danny, if you're watching, I will fix that right after. I'll fix that right after this break if you're watching. Pitch number 50 tonight from Zach Wheeler missing high. Two balls, two strikes. Wheeler retired the Pirates in order in the first, allowed a one out walk in the second, and the McCutcheon home run. Blue 70th, they're not numbered. Franklin Killone. And a good event by Bell, just for the pitch count. The sheer pitch count factor. Terry Collins. Like for the Yankees, Yankees win. Chance Adams. Chance Adams. Tommy B. Garrett Cole's 24 pitch first inning. So on the board, bro. Good job of getting his number up, therefore putting the Mets in a position that they don't particularly want to be on, be in. This is the eighth pitch of the at bat to Bell. Good luck, Bell. It's ball three, full count. Good take. Tough take. Just low. Turner does his best job he can to 
give the home plate umpire Corey Blazer a good look at it, but good call by Corey and good take by Bell. Cookie, I just seen your comment now. Yeah, he did. Guys got jokes. Guys got jokes. Dude, he had 15 strikes. I don't know what he had. I know he had 15 strikes. I had him all over draft games, every lineup. And it's crazy because. My main stack did nothing today. How do the Rays not light Mesia up like a Christmas tree? The guy stinks. Yeah, he pitched well too, surprisingly. I didn't see that coming for sure. To hit for the cycle this year, the Cubs did it. Their first six batters in a game back in April. We got some nice color back there, boys. I would have died if you would have said it was off Garrett Cole. That would have been really impressive by him. Ah. Uh, He's back on April 15th at Wrigley. Francis Martis. The day after Cole started Blue the against the Cubs. So what you picture really Not good? numbered. Trout. He did. Only two runs and six innings in that game. Professional baseball player comes in every day with a smile on his face, acts the same, give you for 100 or 10 for his last 10. Same look on his face, same smile, same energy, same everything every single day. Oh, Nick Solak for the Yankees. The Yankees win. Tom Barr. There's the birthday boy, Terry Collins. He's managed more games than any other skipper at Mets. Franchise history. And he becomes the eighth in Major League history to manage Not yet. On his Not yet. 68th birthday. Some pretty impressive names on that list. There's a few guys on there I've heard of before. Just a few. Darno, deep center field. It is How did this bum hit a home run? So the Mets go back on top. Travis Darno. Who just came off the disabled list Thursday, had been 0 for his last 14 coming into this game. 0 for his last 14. Second, and now takes Cole deep in the fourth. Damn, man, you're hitting all around. Royo, Jalen Miller. Terry Collins 
just for Lee, Jalen Miller. We spoke to him before the game, saying, hey, we need to get Travis Garner. This guy has all the potential in the world to, to hit and catch and beat every day. Big league catcher, and there he goes. What does he do? He rewards his manager. Yudi Garcia, game. purple to 250. Fastball right Yudi. Right the Good swing from Darnell. He's always been aggressive early in the count. McCutcheon thinks he has a shot for a second, and then realizes, oh, boy, I better stop by running into this wall. <sighs> Oh, that was signed. For Darno, whose brother Chase is a former Pittsburgh Pirate and a former teammate of mine and a former band guy. That's right. He has his own band, which is. Wow. No, I did not know that. It's a fair point. Wow. And Wheeler is tagged out by Cervelli for out number two. Well, in case you didn't have a time to read through due to the Darno home run, once again, here are the eight managers, including Terry Collins. Three of them were victorious. Yeah, damaged or pocketed, one or the other, you pick. They're with the Bryant 13 uh, Blacks. That's where they are. They're at BGS. Charles has them. It's funny. All those guys are in the Hall of Fame except... I know you were too, Paulie. That's crazy. And you're talking about 2004. Guess who my manager on that Giants team was? Felipe Alou. So maybe I'm the reason Felipe Alou is not in the Hall of Fame. Donnie DeWeese. Blue paper to 150. Donnie DeWeese. played for Joe Torre in an All-Star game. I did. He did from his All-Star game. That's right. Yo, Charles! Nicky Solak, Refractor Auto. Nick Solak, Refractor Auto for Tom Barr. Number to 499, Tommy. I'll get you the number. That's right. 383. two Called out on strikes his last time up. Craig Kimbrell, paper to 499. Fernando Romero, purple, number to 250. Fernando Romero, purple, number to 250. Okay, Bruce in the first. Travis Darno here in the fourth. There's the ball still sitting in the bushes out there to spell pirates. At some point, someone's going to have to go get that ball. I'm surprised the fan hasn't jumped over the fence to go get that ball yet, but somebody will retrieve that eventually. Just below the arc. And that's always been the Mets game, especially the last few years, is hitting home runs. Uh, you got to keep the Mets in the ballpark. If you want to beat the Mets, Something like that. When the Mets hit home runs, that's when they're not only at the most popular, but that's usually when you win games. There's an exception this year of hitting the runners and scorers, and the Mets have struggled the last few years in that, in that category. This year they're actually leading baseball. Did that tech mini fill, guys? So Nobody responded to that. Which is kind of a change of pace for the Mets, who've always been known for hitting home runs, and hitting a lot of solo home runs, and hitting three-run home runs, and now they're hitting... Yeah, right. Wawa, how's your fantasy team doing? Baseball wearing special the caps 
Means it's the only one graded that high. See, that's something I couldn't pull off. Those are Josh Harrison shoes. I was a Nike guy, not Adidas, as, as Josh is, and they wouldn't put flowers on my shoes for me. I had cool things for like the Mets. PJ Conlon. Gator skin and, and PJ Conlon. Nikes, but Adidas. Adidas. When I was with Atlanta, had Malik Smith had for the Mets shoes for Mother's Day. I, I couldn't Lee. pull those off, but those right there, those camo Nike Hirachis right there, I could, I could definitely pull those off. I could wear those out. Stomping around my oh backyard. Oh my god. A couple of free plugs from AJ. <laughs> there you go. I got to be equal opportunity. Mike, you got a couple of shipments this week. <laughs> e Second and third, two outs for the match. Each row of blue paper. And a Paul DeJong refractor. Match with a 3 2 lead. Now 22 home runs for Jay against the Pirates. He's hit 35 against the Milwaukee Brewers. The 2 0 for Cole. <laughs> Hollywood is pop one. <laughs> this is the old unintentional, intentional walk here. 3 0, 2 0 off speed pitch right there. Yes, lefty on deck, Neil Walker, but after Bruce took Cole deep, he's had two pretty solid at bats. He, he knows in the back of his mind, hey, I'll take my chances with Neil Walker. 3-0 right here will probably throw a fastball, but I wouldn't be surprised if Bruce has the green light. Bruce wow. Frazier coming out in left. That's crazy. The catch to end the inning. So for the third time in four innings, the Mets strand two on the base pads. If they regain the lead. Home run number five this year. That season. doesn't count as a hit. <laughs> Georgie! <laughs> Ocala, Florida. Of all the places. Of all the places. That's funny. What are the freaking odds? Honestly, Dan... Garrett Whitley, Red 70. It's a tough job, but for you and your friends, I would say nine. We don't just brew beer; we brew beer for friends. Nah, George, it's just funny. We were just talking. That's where Mike Singer was uh, was from. <laughs> of all the places, you're from Ocala. Guys got jokes. Wawa, you gonna lock in a flight for uh, early December? Oh! For Pauly Wawa! Ronald Acuna, blue, 53 out of 150. For Pauly Wawa! Oh, not from Liv. You did call it. That's hilarious. You did call it. Mind ball. You did, Mike. This is Jason Kipnis, second baseman for the Cleveland Indians. PJ Conlin, paper. Because getting dirty Number the 499. When Kip's not playing baseball, he's reading about baseball. When he's not reading about baseball, he's listening to baseball. When he's not listening to baseball, he's watching baseball. Ooh, you better get dirty, get down. And when he's not watching baseball, He's playing Man, I got a lot of cards on this desk. Holy sh Nikes. 
Back in Pittsburgh, bottom of the fourth inning. With the Mets leading the Pirates. 3-2, Gregory Polanco. Bounce down to the first baseman, Lucas Duda. In the second inning. Polanco, Freeze, and McCutcheon for the Pirates. Here in the fourth. That's the way to come to a game on a boat, right? Here, San Francisco. Where else could you do that? On a that? boat? What do you mean, come here on a boat? DJ Stewart, 70th blue. Oh yeah, wow, they are in, they are in the river. On a boat. As we mentioned, it's a tremendous setting for those of you who have not been to PNC Park. Just to clarify. Joe Musgrove for the Strohs. Joe Musgrove. For the Houston Astros. Eric Jarosol. Like aerosol. Eric Jarosol. Sounds like aerosol. Everywhere you look, it's just a, something to look at, something to admire. That guy, I admire his courage. Base hit it to right field off the bat of Polanco, leading off the Pirates' fourth. It's the first single for Pirate Ball. Wheeler Top. And two extra base hits, a double and a home run. All right, guys, last box mojo. Good luck. Back in the second inning. 16 games earlier this season with a straight right hand straight. Here's the in his hometown of St. Louis, which we were in St. Louis last week, I was, and doing the game with the Giants, and he still has commercials on TV in St. Louis and keeps it up. Which obviously is a visiting player and coming back to your hometown and turning on the TV when you're sitting there. Realize you played for the Pittsburgh Pirates, the division rival, and they're really loving them in St. Louis as they should. You go out and win an MVP of an NLCS in a World Series. We talked about Neil Walker growing up here in Pittsburgh. Got seven years with the Pirates. Won the best last year. Bill receives a nice ovation from the Pirates at the NC Park. His dad played for the Pirates as well. George, that's, uh, I think, th I'll say third in line, George. So, with two away, Andrew McCutcheon, who just hit really deep back in the second inning. Interesting about Andrew McCutcheon. We talked about his first event. Ha, 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 You're funny. Andrew McCutcheon's been so happy. You can see by his numbers here, the IDC season, most of his home runs were to center, most of the center and right. Now, all of his balls are hit to left, although the home run he did hit was to center. But the bigger thing for me is that if you look at his ground ball percentage, 37% of ground balls on the left side, that's just too many easy outs for a guy of McCutcheon that has the power. George, do me a favor. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if you got my PayPal, but when you send your payment, just put your name. Guys got jokes. Yeah. That's how I feel, Georgie. That's a friggin' Hollywood special line right there. I'll drop the PayPal. Just put your name and the break in the in the PayPal payment for me, please, in the comments. Look, guys. Get to the ball and hit the ball the other way because he's in and out of the strike zone because he cranks it and he has to start earlier and get there earlier. Therefore, he he's cheating. McCutcheon draws a two-out walk. And the 
the home run swing, you see, he doesn't get as big and his back elbow doesn't get as high. Therefore, he's able easily to get to that ball with the bat speed that we all know Andrew McCutcheon possesses. So, by him not cranking... Mauricio Dubon, refractor to 499. It frees up his back elbow to, as hitters, we always talk about dropping your hands into the hitting zone. If you slow it down, you see his back elbow is not as high. There's also actually a little hole in there that when he gets back, huh. you can see it between his back shoulder <laughs> and his back elbow. And you see how free and easy that was and how Love it, George. it was. And that's the key for a hitter. So How'd you find us, George? Jarrell Cotton. Jarrell Cotton for the Here's Oakland the Athletics. Lee. And I was always told, and I tell my son, there's only one thing you control as a hitter, and that's being on time. The rest is out of your control once you swing and hit the ball. But as long as you're on time and you're ready, then everything else will take care of itself if you're lucky enough to be good and... For the Phillies, Jose Pujols. Jose Pujols. I love his autograph. For Nigel. Congrats, brother. Kershaw to 4.99. Kershaw. Cole Stewart, purple, number to 2.50. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I know that feeling. Believe me. Well, you can always watch, man. You can always log in and watch and chat and hang out with the boys. Cervelli on time like we just talked about with McCutcheon. Just hitting it where it's pitched. Not trying to do too much. Just taking a little fastball out over the plate. Actually a breaking ball out over the plate. Kind of a hanger. And just serving it up the middle for a base hit. Zach Wheeler, two outs, nobody on. Walks McCutcheon. McCutcheon took him deep to the about before. So maybe there was a little bit, hey, I don't want to give in to this guy. I don't want to lay something in there. And now he's in trouble with two outs. And again, look at the 70, the pitch count. Just slowly climbing. And the higher that gets, the quicker the Mets have to get into the bullpen, which is what they don't want to do. Which they did not have to do last night until the ninth inning. Thank you, Jacob DeGrom. Oh, for the Phillies again. Nigel's having a nice break. El Neri Garcia, blue 70th. El Neri. El Neri Garcia. Dora! Louis Garcia. Louis Garcia, purple paper. Alright, guys, hit recap coming. El Neri Garcia, blue for the Phillies. Jarrell Cotton, base. Jose Pujols for the Phillies. Jose Musgrove for the Astros. Ronald Acuna for the Braves. PJ Conlon for the Mets. Nick Solak for the Yankees. Jalen Miller for the Giants. Nick Solak base. Chance Adams base. Jacob Hayward base. 
Groom. Scout top 100, number to 50. Adonis Medina, purple. Andrew Stevenson, base. Sopko, refractor. Hinojosa, refractor. And then the two monsters, Nikki Senzel, base. And how you doing? How you doing? I'm Sean Lee. I started going gray kind of Ben Attendee, gold, gold joint. Alright guys, thanks a lot. That concludes that break. Easily targets gray.